Pearl, Trans I see women or women? No, um, they're not. So I, I want to come at this from the um, position of an athlete. Oh, Jesus. Um, so, so I oh, play semi-pro basketball, <laughs> semi-pro volleyball. So when it comes to like athletic spaces, I don't think that trans women should be allowed into athletic spaces because I don't think it's a fair... Um, I think we, as female athletes, we work so incredibly hard for the little opportunity there is in women's sports. Would this be a like, barrier for like this, There's no barrier. There's less opportunity in some industries. That's, That's what a barrier is. There's less. It's not... No, no, no. It's That's based on the market. Me. Okay. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, guys. Let's... Okay. So, again, we work very hard for the little opportunity there is in the space because we're not as entertaining as the men. Sorry, we're just not. And so it's like you're going to take the little opportunity that we're given. And the problem is, like, it, we can't compete. We can't. Like, I, I'm six foot. If I go up against a six foot guy and I play basketball with him, he's going to body me. And even what happens if, if I go even up against if, you? Even, even, hold on. Body even, yelda, yelda, even, hold even, on. even if I have years more of training. And so it's like you're taking away the little opportunity that we're given and we all work so hard for, and you're just giving it back to biological guys. It's like this will be the end of women's sports. Yep. Have Eli, you tried confidence? Uh, Eli, hold on, Minnie. <laughs> Sorry, Eli. confidence can't make me bench what a guy benches. I don't confidence can't make me six seven. You guys are seven. so hostile. She's sharing her and experience can't make me six, six, seven. Seven. No, she's sharing. And I'd have to go. No, she's yeah. not. She's she's, not. she's a woman who's had no, an experience. Oh my God! It's oh, it's you guys are so obsessed with your own experiences honestly, and your own Honestly, babe, I, I would just start swinging. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hot for her. They coming at her. Mm, it's misogyny. It's this. It's, oh my gosh! I would have kicked. It's but, crazy. Let me not say stuff because I was about to. No, fuck you. Say what the hell you want, man. Kick fuck her off a wheelchair. <laughs> 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 See, uh, uh. Man, but I mean, they all bullying fucking Pearl, but like for no fucking. Reason. Like, what's the point? But these people can only bully with their mouth. <laughs> Just, but I don't, I don't understand where the bullying come from. She's trying to like save it for women, and y'all out here just volunteering fighting to against get, it, volunteering to get fucking doing what's worst for erased. you, for your yeah. kind. It's fucking stupid. Stupid. Distance, and yet when a woman is sitting here telling you, I feel She's as though this too. is unfair and this is compromising and this situation is not helping women, you guys are like, mmm, mmm, mmm. but when you're like, I'm a black person that did this, 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 and this, then it's vi valid and, and fair and viable. Eli, I want to give you the chance to respond. Um, so this is basically a joke of a talking point. Everyone has biological advantages in sports. How, how tall are you? Um, five eleven and a half. I'm yeah, tall. I'm I'm five foot eight. Mm -hmm. I am a trans woman. I you would crush me. You would absolutely yeah. crush bone me. density, wrist strength, yeah. muscle density. You can't switch those. Yeah, exactly. You would crush me. But also, Eli, you would never play that at the level that Pearl plays joke. because um, you would never get there. So let me give you <laughs> a few more examples here too. So Michael Phelps produced more lactic acid in his body, which caused him to swim better than any of his competitors. This was widely celebrated, and. Nobody contested it. Now, to, this is in a performance enhancing hormone. So we all have different bodies. And now I'm not, not saying arguing. that trans women who aren't on hormones should participate, but there are, I mean, every major, major medical and every major sports organization agrees that trans women who have been on hormones for between one and three years, depending on the organization, have the same competitive abilities. That's, that, did the study that you're referencing had like seven people participated. That's misinformation, not, by the that way. I'm referencing mis several different studies. I'm a trans woman and a researcher. It's this, getting this, personal. This I don't want thing, it to be personal. A lot of personal. us live in this space where we're told that our sure. opinions don't count because they're not the right kind of opinions. And we're constantly shouted over and talked over regardless of what we look like because there's one group in society that basically takes precedence and it's frustrating so yeah of course it's 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 frustrating because when we try to talk about it we get shouted down we get told to be quiet you will punch her in the mouth i would have punched <laughs> you all of punched them. her in the I'm mouth you would have punched her in the mouth the fucking cackle bitch what's so funny see i guess she's trying to insinuate this girl has like white privilege so what are you sitting here talking about you know you feel attacked or some shit and none of these things are being discussed the, the it's we're not like talking about performance enhancing drugs we're not talking about none of that we're talking about trans men or men trans, yeah talking men. about men competing against women period what are we talking about but see this is all they do they put on the theatrics they put on the the bullying, they they throw out the disrespect no, you, you, when you, when you they try to when, come at yeah. you and then when you can't prove a point you get attacked so it is. They oh all. Oh my gosh.
You look like a clown. Mm. I, we, we, get, we get spooking down too as well. So okay, yeah, there's hostility there for plenty of women. Let's try to make this an opportunity <laughs> to speak You're with literally each a white woman then. from Australia. You live in a bubble and you're pissed that voices that have been silenced forever finally can be heard. That's why they have the voice, because they speak up. Okay, mm. we're having a conversation about transgender women participating in sports, and I wanted to allow more people to participate. Jordan, I wanted to hear from you. So I am not a professional athlete. Uh, the closest thing I have ever done to anything athletic was I used to do competitive show choir when I was younger. And um, I don't feel really qualified to make carte blanche statements about whether or not trans women should compete in every kind of sport. And I understand that that is kind of... A cop out. That's a hard pill to swallow. And for me, my first inclination is to approach everything through a lens of inclusivity. But at the same time, I also can't speak accurately to every kind of sport and the different things that go into it. Absolutely. So I really think in the- What's even the conversation? Like, whatever study she referenced, oh, just because the board, whatever, oh, agrees shit. that women, uh, that trans women, as long as they've been on hormone, whatever, for a year, Whatever study she referenced, there are 10 other studies to show that it's still a biological advantage as a male. So wh what's the conversation? It's like there's the science out there. They're like these opinions of what she thinks about it, she thinks about it, don't matter. It's not even that fucking deep. It's, it's e not. It's, it's like, easy. It's, it's done. <laughs> it's, it's, not a, it's not an argument. Nobody's opinion matters. Biological males have an advantage even if they've been on hormone blockers or whatever the fuck for blank period. for a year, two, three, four, five, doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> so it's um, it's yeah. frustrating. I'm I'm like I'm I'm over the fucking topic, but the fact that people are still this fucking delusional in their stance is like this panel though. This I, it's it's ten against two, and they're doing a good job because. <laughs> And I they bet you being, they, they did they that. They are being disrespectful as hell. I think Vice did that shit intentionally, too, to get all these fucking... It's like eight feminists up there, and then she's not a feminist, and no, Pearl's not a feminist and shit. But it's funny, because they are feminist in the term that they want what's best for women. Yeah, but they're all, like, but radical But that doesn't feminists. mean, yeah, feminist these days anymore. Feminism today is that radical feminist bullshit. Feminism today is literally anti-women. <laughs> Fact. These instances, the decisions are best left up to the professional governing bodies that dictate no, these particular not. sports. I just feel like in places, as an ally, in places where there's no understanding, we can just respect and not really, like, our opinions don't fucking matter. That has nothing to do with anything they're talking about. Like, y'all can have voices all fucking day. We're talking about trans women in sports. That is not a voice. That is you coming in there and disrupting the entire women's sports enterprise. Like, yo, yo, ruining yo, 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 it. You're ruining it. Y'all can say whatever the fuck y'all want to say, but y'all coming in here talking about you going to come and destroy women's sports. That's the fucking issue. Their energy is just so, like, just. They're offended. Mm. Eli, I saw you nodding your head over there several times. Um, <laughs> so, um, th this is more than about sports. This is about no, um, free, free <laughs> no, legal No, it's not. It is only about. Sports. That's it. They just moved the goalposts. It's moving the goalposts. Moving the goalposts. So this we can't about, win this argument, so yeah. now let's so now talk about gonna, something else. So now we're going to have a fucking sob story about what the fuck y'all been through, and that's why we got to fucking entertain whatever the fuck y'all want. Th this is more than about sports. This is about um, free, like, free and equal participation for go. transgender people in social life. And the right sees this as a socially acceptable way to begin to remove trans people from different engagements in our society. That's crazy. So, the right feels that it's a way to get rid of trans people. The way they're acting, they're, they're gonna push the majority to want to push them out. This bullying and the That's way they bullshit. push that shit on you. Like they flipped the whole script. No one gives a fuck. I, I would imagine everybody would wants people to live freely and do whatever the fuck they want. When you, yeah, when you nobody in, gives when a you, shit. Yeah, but when you impede on everybody's rights, and you know, ability you to want to mess up women's sports, language, facts, uh, the government, you don't get your way, freedom of speech, you don't get your like, way, so then you play victim. But y'all motherfuckers are not victims, y'all motherfuckers are bullies at this point. Look, our 
one-year-old son does this when he doesn't get what he wants <laughs> he cries he, he cries you start with sports or bathrooms or locker room something that so you can't, can't conflate sports bathroom those are not the same at all well how about let's eliminate all the above yeah because right, we're dude. not here for none Facts. Of none of it makes sense none of it is safe for women none of it is good for <laughs> the majority it only has long-term negative effects on society so exactly. let's just cut the crap Right. They find is more acceptable, and then at this point, they started to move into education, getting trans teachers fired, banning trans books. This is a like route times. that yes, um, trans is books very from effective any because it's kids, seen as more period. acceptable. Um, but it's also overlooking a lot of major details. Like, I mean, do y'all know how many um, trans women have won national titles? Shame one too many. One. one too it's many. Leah Thomas is the only one. one. Too many. If, if what are you talking many? about? What about the powerlifter? If, if woman, yeah, she's, that's, what about that's the, cap. the rollerblading that's thing? That's fucking cap. It's all of them. That is cap. How about any trans woman, aka biological man, that has competed has won? <laughs> that's cap. Sports were actually going to end in some way. Um, I mean, it's just not happening. Wouldn't you think there would it be more happening. trans women in sports? When you got women, you got women out here giving up on sports because men are out here making it, making it impossible to compete. This little, but this uh, this little fucking fairy out here talking. Oh, I was going to say fairy too. <laughs> States do allow trans women full participation. International titles, zero. No um, global titles have ever been won by a trans woman. Because most countries don't allow this bullshit that we too. allow.